Lucky Luciano's real Queen Eunice Hunt and Carter. A formidable syndicate comprising New York's five most prominent organized crime families, the commission was led by Charles, Lucky, Luciano in 1935. Unlawful operations like as drug selling, loan sharking, lotteries and other illegal businesses have made Luciano a multi-millionaire via the mob. Meanwhile, the press was focused on fellow mobster Dutch Schultz's antics, keeping his name out of the news. In a year, everything would change. So far, Luciano has evaded threats from competitors and police. Carter was born in 1899 in Atlanta, Georgia, and moved to Brooklyn, New York, after a 1906 racial riot. A notable family, Carter's parents, William Alpheus Hunton and Addie Waits Hunton, were YMCA international secretaries and NAACP activists. With a bachelor's and master's degree from Smith College in four years, Carter is the second woman to achieve this feat. She married dentist Lyle Carter and became a writer, social worker, and political activist. She graduated from Fordham Law School in 1932 as the second black female. Carter failed to establish a private practice and ended up working as a volunteer in New York's women's courts instead. It wasn't long before her career took off. In 1934, she was elected to the Republican state legislature. M. LaGuardia appointed her secretary of his commission on Harlem conditions in the spring of 1935, notwithstanding her defeat. That July, Carter was selected to the 20 Against the Underworld squad, assembled by Special Prosecutor Thomas E. Dewey. She would be their sole black female lawyer. Despite her selection, Carter's daily duties reflected her position on the squad. Soliciting information about illegal activity, Dewey had her cubicle flooded with accusations about prostitution. A moral crusader image was not appealing to Dewey. Many complaints about individual brothels were unanswered by police, Carter saw. After seeing a lawyer called Abe Carp, she remembered how an arresting officer would forget critical information and accusations against the working ladies he represented would be thrown out. Extensive research revealed that a strong entity was really orchestrating the events. Luciano was disturbed by Carter's plan to kill Dewey, but Carter persevered in his investigation of Schultz's murder. Carter created a comprehensive directory of brothels in the city using citizen tips and the defunct Committee of 14 catalogues. A weekly bond money was now required to guarantee employees got carp and favored courts if they got into legal problems, according to her numerous interviews. By January 1936, the wiretaps had begun to provide names of Luciano's associates. To catch prospective informants, Carter ordered a raid on dozens of brothels on the night of February 1st. When their customary bondsmen failed to come up, they had also been jailed. A handful of the incarcerated ladies altered their tune, forcing other crucial people to confess. The identities of Luciano underlings Dave Miller and Jimmy Fredericks were leaked by Carter to a madam called Sally Kaplan, aka Red Sadie. Unable to find Luciano before the end of March, Dewey drafted an indictment. They led him back to his mob boss house to face trial for forced prostitution with five co-defendants. However, despite her efforts, Carter was not chosen to help Dewey in court. Notwithstanding her involvement in witness preparation and security of the ladies who decided to testify, the trial, held in a heavily guarded Manhattan courtroom from May 13 to June 7, was a media hit. In the end, it was many prostitutes compelling evidence that influenced the jury and resulted in a 30 to 50 year term for the commission's leader. But after the verdict, Dewey publicly thanked Carter for her services. Her assistance was also needed for the April 1937 retrial hearing, which the prosecution won. Carter eventually worked for the UN and black run groups including the National Council of Negro Women until her death in 1970. Her involvement in putting the country's most powerful crime lord to his knees may not be as well known as Luciano's. Thank you.